Good evening, sisters and brothers, and welcome to this evening's evening prayer. It's Monday evening. I trust that you are well this evening. And so let's pray as we come to give God thanks for bringing us to the end of another day. Let's pray. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Blessed are you, Lord God, creator of day and night. To you be praise and glory forever. As darkness falls, you renew your promise to reveal among us the light of your presence. By the light of Christ, your living word, dispel the darkness of our hearts, that we may walk as children of light and sing your praise throughout the world Blessed be God, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. Amen. That this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful, let us pray with one heart and mind. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise now and forever amen and the canticle is from ephesians chapter 1 the glorious grace of god is freely bestowed on us in the beloved blessed are you the god and father of our lord jesus christ for you have blessed us in Christ Jesus with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places. You chose us to be yours in Christ before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and blameless before you. In love, you predestined us for adoption as your children through Jesus Christ, according to the purpose of your will to the praise of your glorious grace, which you freely bestowed on us in the beloved. In you we have redemption through the blood of Christ, the forgiveness of our sins, according to the riches of your grace, which you have lavished upon us. You have made known to us in all wisdom and insight the mystery of your will according to your purpose which you set forth in Christ as a plan for the fullness of time to unite all things in Christ things in heaven and things on earth glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and shall be forever amen the glorious grace of God is freely bestowed on us in the beloved. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. And be not wise in your own sight. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. And be not wise in your own sight. In all your ways acknowledge him and he will make straight your paths. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and be not wise in your own sight. And the, the collect for this evening. Kindle in our hearts, O God, the flame of love which never ceases, that it may burn in us, giving light to others. May we shine forever in your temple, set on fire with your eternal light, even your Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior and our Redeemer. Amen. And our, the, the, the psalm for this evening, Psalm 85. Psalm 85. First, the refrain. Show us your mercy, O Lord. Lord, you were gracious to, to your land. You restored the fortunes of Jacob. 
you forgave the offense of your people and covered all their sins. You laid aside all your fury and turned from your wrathful indignation. Restore us again, O God, our Savior, and let your anger cease from us. Will you be displeased with us forever? Will you stretch out your wrath from one generation to another? Will you not give us life again, that your people may rejoice in you? Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. I will listen to what the Lord God will say, for he shall speak peace to his people and to the faithful, that they turn not again to folly. Truly his salvation is near to those who fear him, that his glory may dwell in our land. Mercy and truth are met together. Righteousness and peace have kissed each other. Truth shall spring up from the earth and righteousness look down from heaven. The Lord will indeed give all, his, all that is good and our land will yield its increase. Righteousness shall go before him and direct his steps in the way. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and our prayer. Most holy God, when we come to you fearing that truth condemns us, show us that truth is one with love. In your word made flesh, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. And um, the, the meditation on Psalm 85. The Christian life is not static like a spiritual plateau. Instead, it is up and down. One season we find ourselves trusting heartily in God, worshipping Him, enjoying Him. The next season, sometimes for no apparent reason, our heart feels cold and stiff. We know the right things to say. We continue to go through the motions but it feels dead and dry. Psalm 85 is in the Bible for you to pray in such seasons of emptiness. The psalmist reflects on God's past goodness, verses one to three, and then asks for a divine work of renewal, verses four to nine. He knows what it is to love God in a richly heartfelt way. But something has dried up within him, and he, he longs for it to return. In praying for this renewal, the psalmist leads us in acknowledging that we cannot manufacture inner renewal on our own. We need God to intervene. We need him to work in us. And so are you feeling dead and dry? Pray Psalm 85. Meditate on it in the morning and in the evening. After all, God has proven that he will not let such a prayer go, not, go unanswered. Well, how did he prove this? By showing in the fullness of time exactly how righteousness and peace would kiss each other. He sent Jesus Christ, his only son, to satisfy the righteous requirements of the law and in so doing, provide true and lasting peace for any who humbles himself enough to receive it. Jesus has wiped away any reason for God to withhold his renewing grace from us. Amen. Amen. All right, moving on. And we move to the the New Testament reading which is M Mark chapter 5 yeah I'll just Mark chapter 5 1 to 20 
Mark chapter 5, 1 to 20. They went across the lake to the region of the Gerizims. <clears throat> when Jesus got out of the boat, a man with an impure spirit came from the tombs to meet him. This man lived in the tombs and no one could bind him anymore, not even with a chain. Just make sure this is right. Yep. For he had often been chained hand and foot, but he tore the chains apart and broke the irons on his feet. No one was strong enough to subdue him. Night and day among the tombs and in the, on, in the hills, he would cry out and cut himself with stones. When he saw Jesus from a distance, he ran and fell on his knees in front of him. He shouted at the top of his voice, what do you want with me, Jesus, son of the Most High God? In God's name, don't torture me. But Jesus had said to him, Come out of this man, you impure spirit. Then Jesus asked him, What is your name? My name is Legion, he replied, for we are many. And he begged Jesus again and again not to send them out of the area. A large herd of pigs was feeding on the nearby hillside. The demons begged Jesus, Send us among the pigs, allow us to go into them. He gave them permission, and the impure spirits came out and went into the pigs. The herd, about 2,000 in number, rushed down the steep bank into the lake and were drowned. Those tending the pigs ran off and reported this in the town and countryside. And the people went out to see what had happened. When they came to Jesus, they saw the man who had been possessed by the legion of demons, sitting there, dressed and in his right mind. And they were afraid. Those who had seen it, told the people what had happened to the demon-possessed man and told about the pigs as well. Then the people began to plead with Jesus to leave their region. As Jesus was getting into the boat, the man who had been demon-possessed begged to go with him. Jesus did not let him but said, Go home to your own people and tell them how much the Lord has done for you and how he has had mercy on you. So the man went away and began to tell in the Decapolis how much Jesus had done for him, and all the people were amazed. Amen. Great story. Um, Jesus meets someone, a man who was demon-possessed. Now, of course, the demons knew who Jesus was. And, and whenever Jesus shows up, the demons tremble, sisters and brothers. This is, this is uh, the, the power of our Lord. He has power over supernatural powers, over demonic powers. And this is, you know, I... It, it is one of those stories that reminds us that no matter what, the, the, what may oppress us in our world, in our life, um, whether it's physical or spiritual, Jesus has the power to dispel the physical as much as the spiritual. He has the power to bring deliverance to those who are physically bound and those who are spiritually bound and um and so we we this is this is a story of jesus taking authority over the demon possessed man uh the sending sending the the demons into the pigs 
is a rather poignant symbol of Jesus um, basically causing disturbance in the community. This is Gentile territory um, because Jews did not tend to pigs. And, um, and so the, the demons, the demons would rather um, take the bodies of pigs um, rather than be disembodied. Of course, of course, the pigs drowned, but the demons themselves did not drown. The, you know, the demons will find some other body to go into. Um, I think one of the point I want to highlight is the response of the man who was delivered. Um, he wanted to follow Jesus. And, and Jesus told him to go home to his family and to the community and to proclaim the good news, as it were. Tell what God has done for you. Tell people what the Lord has done for you today. And this man went everywhere over into the Decapolis in the towns and villages and tell, tell everyone what Jesus had done for him. Um, as far as he was concerned, Jesus was that Lord. Jesus was the God who has delivered him, who set him free from the demons. You know, sisters and brothers, when someone has been set free, um, there is no arguing with that experience. Your experience of God tells you everything that you need to know. If you were bound by Satan and you were delivered by the hands of Jesus, as far as he was concerned, this man Jesus was himself the Lord or the Lord used this man Jesus to deliver him. And so here, he, as far as he was concerned, it, Jesus was either the servant of God or God himself that has delivered him from the demons that possessed him. And it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a reminder, I guess, to us that our deliverance doesn't come from anyone, any, uh, you know, when we are delivered, when we are healed, when we are set free, from anything that that ails us our deliverance comes from Jesus not from human beings even if God uses uses human beings the, to, to bring that deliverance ultimately that deliverance is from the Lord it's from God himself who brings us the deliverance and and, I, and, and we are to remember this, sisters and brothers. I think we need to, um, you know, there are still people who are demon-possessed in our world. There are still people who are influenced by demon, demonic powers. And they too can be set free. No one is beyond the power of Christ to set free and redeem them. And we must pray for those who, who are... Uh, who are bound by Satan. May some, some, some are bound in addictions. There are lots of addictions. People who, who, who are addicted to all sorts of things. Gambling, alcohol, drugs and so on. And these addictions are, are, are demonic. Satanic hold on people's soul. And, and, and we must pray that they be delivered from these addictions. That Jesus will set them free and, 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 and vanquish the demon that uh, has their souls in bondage. Let's pray. Our Father in heaven, we thank you for bringing us to the end of another day. Lord, as we think about this man who was delivered from legions of demons, we think about our world and those who are imprisoned in their souls by demonic powers by spiritual authorities and powers in the heavenly places lord we think of those who are who are bound by addiction addiction to alcohol to drugs uh, to, to to gambling and, and and various other things in this world things that might even be good 
but become evil because of their addiction. And so, Lord, we pray. We pray for those who are bound by Satan in those ways. We pray for others who are who are ruled by the enemy to to uh, their their intention, their desire is to destroy, to kill, to steal, and they get pleasure out of bringing other people's lives to ruin. We think of those people who are also under the influence of satanic powers. We think of people like Putin, whose desire is to destroy and kill the lives of other people. We pray for him and those who who, who, who are under his spell, under his authority. So people who are, who clearly are, 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 are demonically influenced, even if they're not completely possessed, they are influenced by satanic powers to do that which is evil, to, to, to tear down and to destroy the lives of others. Oh God, we pray for their deliverance this evening. We pray, Lord Jesus, that you will that you will intervene on their behalf and set them free from the demonic influence in their lives, and uh, and and release them, O oh God, from the prison that they are in, in their minds, in their souls, from the prison of demonic powers. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who are sick. We continue to pray, Lord Jesus, because you are the healer. And it is in your name that we find deliverance and strength and healing and salvation. And so, Lord, we pray. We pray for those who are, who are sick tonight, those who, who, have, who have a need, uh, pray, who are in need of prayers tonight for for whatever reason. But I want to pray for all those who are affected by the, uh, the economic situation in our country, for those who, are, uh, who, who, find, it, who find it difficult economically to, to, to survive at the, with this, with the, with this um, recession that we are in and the prices of, of things going up and the, and, 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 and the increase in fuel uh, fuel duty and 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 gas and and heating. We we pray, Lord, for all those who are who are affected. All of us, in fact, who are affected by this by these price hikes in our country. And so, Lord, we pray for relief for the for the especially those who are the most vulnerable and those whose whose lives are going to be radically change as a result of these changes in our world in our com in our country and so lord we pray that you will intervene on on their behalf and that lord you will bring relief economic relief for those who are destitute for those who are who are feeling the pressure as it were economically in their lives lord jesus you promise to bring, give us our daily bread when we, when we seek you. So, Lord, we pray that for your intervention in providing daily sustenance for those who are suffering the, 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 this economic recession that we are in. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are on our, on our prayer list in our church. We pray for Glynis and Bob in uh, in 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 Upminster and Claire as well. We pray for Hannah and and, uh, and our sister Jean Jean Murphy. We pray for Joanna as well. Um, we pray for um, Rona, my friend Rona. Uh, she mourned the passing of her of her of her niece. Pray for um, Dion. And Jane and Sue and Daisy, Andrew, Ryan, Muriel, Thelma, David and Bernadette, Dolly and Desmond. We also pray for Dolly as she mourns the passing of her sister suddenly, recently. 
pray for her pray for veronica and chester and again for veronica as she mourns the passing of her brother arthur in america pray for cynthia as well and the whole family as they mourn may god give them comfort we pray for pauline and roy and pauline's mom daphne and that god will give her strength strengthen her faith in her in her weakness as well pray for doreen and pray that god will strengthen her pray for andy and anita and um we pray also for uh, maxine and her children suri lourdes and ian and um pray for comfort that the lord will continue to bring healing and health to her body lord in your mercy hear our prayer also remember those in a nursing home and uh, uh, as well we, we, we pray for jean walter monica and auntie jane in the name of jesus our great god and savior amen and so the night prayer be present O merciful god and protect us through the silent hours of this night so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this fleeting world may rest upon your eternal changelessness through jesus christ our lord amen guide us waking o lord and guard us sleeping that awake we may watch with christ and asleep we may rest in peace keep watch dear lord with those who work or watch or weep this night give your angels charge over those who sleep tend the sick lord christ give rest to the weary bless the dying soothe the suffering pity the afflicted shield the joyous and all for your love's sake amen our father in heaven hallowed be your name your kingdom come your will be done on earth as in heaven give us today our daily bread forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever amen May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord watch over you. May the Lord give you his peace and rest tonight from all anxiety and fear and worry. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good night, sisters and brothers.